guys so i wanted to catch up here on some videos this is the granny square video that we've been going doing and i thought we would do the whirlpool this one is considered skill level easy last week we did a, an experienced one so i thought we'd just do a lighter side one and it is pretty i did one as a sample i've got to put the book back here there we go um this is the one i i made up and i swear i swear i shed more than a dog or a cat okay so this one is using the cotton yard from dollar tree which i've been doing a lot of my samples with and i did it in three colors of course as you can see and what we're going to be doing is double crochets and then we're going to be doing single crochets and so i'm just going to do the sample today with you in one because mainly what we want to do is just um the stitches i did this one with um the magic ring and i'm going to do today's with the chain because the magic ring i ended up tightening that and then i had to go back and loosen it back up a little bit and pull it because it's supposed to have that little circle space in the middle what it's supposed to be tight so i had to go back and do that i'm just using I think this is also from uh, Dollar Tree, and uh, what was this one called? I forgot, but I did like it. it. Made me think of like denim, and I haven't really used a, that much of it. So let's start with it. And like I said, we're going to follow the directions as far as um, we're going to chain six. I am using a five and a half millimeter hook. And so I'm just going to chain, oh, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to just do slip stitch in the first space or first chain. So now we have our circle. And we're supposed to chain three. That is going to be our first double crochet. Now we're going to chain three more, two, three, and this is going to be our chain three space that we'll be doing in between our double crochets. So let's go ahead and do a double crochet. Chain three, I hope this yarn's not too dark, and a double crochet. We're going to end it up, end it up, we are going to end up with eight double crochets remember this is our first so right now we have three in between we're going to chain three so we're going to do that all the way around i'm going to pause here and let you guys finish your round for our first row and then we'll meet together for the second row okay i'm at the end of my row i just did my last double crochet i'm going to chain three and then i'm going to slip stitch into our first chain three, which is a member, it's our first double crochet. And we're just going to do a slip stitch. Now, if you're changing colors, and this is where you want to do that, go ahead and do, um, do that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch into the first space. And then we're going to chain three again. So we slip stitch to connect our round and then we're just going to go into that first chain uh, three and do another slip stitch. We're going to chain three and then do four total double crochets in each space. So there's two, three, four. Okay, so get my yarn to loosen up. So. This is what we're going to start. We chain three, which is our first double crochet, then three more double crochets. And in between these, we are going to chain two. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put four double crochets. And this is good if you want to do something different than just the standard um, granny square. And you're just learning because this is um, something you're familiar with 
it's just um, can help bring a little dimension or creativity to your blanket if you was trying not to make it all the same type square which is what I like about granny squares you can add so many different ones okay so we are chain four two chain I mean four double crochets chain two four double crochets chain two four double crochets chain two all the way around till we get to the end and I will meet you there to start chain um, row four row three Okay, so now we're at the end of row two. You can still see my little tail. I need to get rid of him. Okay, so I've chained two and I'm going to slip stitch in my first double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch until I get to my open space here. One more. Okay, we're going to do one more into our free space, our chained two space here. So as you can see, now we have basically, we just we have the circle. Now we're going to start working on making it into the square. And each space is going to get six double crochets. The only thing that's going to change, change, change is how many chain stitches we are making in between them so there's one two three four one two three four five six so let's work on our first side and now there are as you can see, there's, uh, I should have brought this up. We're going, we have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just make sure we don't skip anything. I did one earlier that I skipped a whole chain and I ended up, of course, being one short. Um, so we're going to chain one. And we're going to put six into the next space. That chain one is going to be the side of your granny square. Okay. There's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three and six again and this time we're going to just do chain one remember this is the side and then we're going to do chain six Okay, we're going to get three, four, six, chain three, there's another corner, I was just referring to make sure I'm telling you the right thing, those three ones, chains are going to be our corners and you'll see it takes shape here in a little bit with the next row one two three four five one more just chain one back and check and make sure i'm not making it wrong okay so let's go ahead and follow that pattern all the way around Remember, it's six in our space, then chain one, chain three, chain one, until we get to the other side. Okay, so 
did my last set of six double crochets. I've chained my three and we are going to slip stitch until our next spot. Now if you're changing colors, you can slip stitch and tie it off and just start your next color, which is what I prefer to do if I'm especially with as many spaces in between, but because I'm keeping it the same color. All right, so let's see if we can kind of see what it's going to look like. I need a lighter background for this, don't I? Okay, so let's start our row four. And what we're going to do, I'm going to slip stitch into my space. In row four, because this is the side, we're just going to do a oh, that's not right. What am I doing here? We're just going to do a double crochet or a single crochet in our chain one space. We're just doing a double, a single crochet. Okay, then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to wear our six. We're going to go right in between those six stitches and do a single crochet. One, two, three. It should bring us to our corner. We're going to do a double crochet. A double crochet. We're going to chain three. And two more double crochets. And that's going to be our corner stitches. So when you come to the chain three from the previous row, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Go in between our six double crochets with a single crochet. Chain three. Another single crochet in the one space. One, two, three. Make sure you go in between single crochet and that should bring us to the next corner that's a double crochet double crochet chain three and two more double crochets okay so here you can see what your side is supposed to look like corners you're going to have the double crochets in the single spaces we're going to do a single and in between the six stitches so corner double crochet chain three double crochet chain three a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and back to the corner so let's do one more side and then i'll let you finish the last one let me see if Okay, this is where I need to figure out how getting a white background for darker yarns. Okay, so now in when you when you come up against your clusters uh, set, so double crochets right in between, you're going to add a single crochet, chain three, then in the space, a single crochet, chain three. And you're right back where our sets are. Chain three. This should be a corner. So double. Double. Chain three. Double. And double. So that's two sides. This last row, when we're going to do it, we'll kind of put more um, definition into all this. So I'm going to let you do the last two sides. And then we'll meet up and we'll do um, get ready for our very last row. Okay. Because I started on this side, I'm going to pull one more out so I can show you what I did. This was our first single crochet. I've chained three, so I'm just going to go in here. And do a slip stitch connect to connect that connect that 
and then we're going to go in that single crochet and do a single crochet. Now our three spaces, we're going to do three single crochets. And then of course a top of our single crochet in between here. We're just going to do all single crochets on the side. Just helps to know that in, in the chain spaces should be three. We want to make sure we're going to the top. This is our corner, so we're going to go to the top of our double crochet with a single crochet on those two. We're going to chain three because that's our corner. And then we're going to go right back in here to the top of our double crochets and do single crochets. And that's all the way around. Chain spaces get three. And we just want to make sure we put a single crochet in, in each top of the other stitches. So, and we're just going to do that all the way around. We get to one more corner. One, two, three. Sorry for the outside noise if you can hear it. Just living in apartments. I have all my windows open. I like having the windows open. But you also get noises so we're back at a corner so we're going to make sure we're going to go to that top of that double stitch double crochet double crochet and then we want to do three and we want to go back into the double crochets we want to make sure we're getting to the top of those and just do your sides and then we'll see at the end what we have and so i'm gonna let you do the last two sides and we'll meet at the end and then we'll be finished okay so i did my last single crochet i'm gonna do this and it, whoops sorry trim let me take a good look at it kind of lock this into place here and let me see let's see we're gonna use this to maybe hopefully get a good look at it I'm trying to find a light lighter background oops lighter background for you guys to look at it it's the back of it so let's turn it around get it some shape Kind of look at it, make sure I'm not showing you any kind of major boo boos here, like skip stitches. So, there is our granny stitch for this week, and this is, of course, done in the solid color. I was trying to get back over here where it was. whirlpool here it is with changing colors and a lighter yarn and this is what it would look like in a single color i know this color was a little bit dark and i don't normally use a darker color but my scrap yarns a lot of them are small so what do you think do you like it are you gonna would you use it I think I do like it better in the colors. Just kind of gives it more dimension, of course. But it is, you know, I do like it this way too. Of course, I like most things crocheted. So, um, all right, there it is. Now, um, hold on, I want to get the other book out. Okay, um, thank you, one, if you watched all the way to the end. Let me get my yarn put away, put it in my yarn candy jar. <coughs> yarn jar here okay so um i showed you this book i found at the thrift store and the patterns are very pretty now i'm kind of wanting to let me see get the glare off get the glare off 
Can you see that? Um, it's called Wedding White. It's done in one color. It looks like a, a windmill or a pinwheel. Yeah, pinwheel. And I think that's pretty. But I like to try to do some out of here. I'll show you the other one. This was the other one called Faded Rose Fantasy. The thing is, these are a little more complicated, so they would take longer to video. Um, this one measures um, nine and a half. Yeah, this is a nine and a half square, but this one is so much more bigger. Its um, size is. Oh, that's for the whole blanket. Hold on. What's the square? Okay, let me see if I can find the inches on the square itself. Okay, I knew I saw it's 14 inches across, so it is a bigger square. But the project that it has, let me see if I can find the front cover for these this section. Oops, sorry. Um, it's a you know, it shows it's like a comforter. So they're bigger squares. And what I like to know is, do you want a project or a, a square that big? Or do you want me to stick with the smaller ones? I don't know. I think the light's better. Hopefully it's reading right. Like I said, there's a square and that's a 14 inch square. And that's the project. That it's suggesting that you know it could be made for or I like this faded rose square and it is um, nine and a half so it is a little bit smaller and there's 14 rounds for this one so um, let me know because I really want to try one of the uh, squares out of this one the white one um, has 16 rounds, so it's not that many more rows, but in, just kind of an idea. And if you just want to keep it out of, oops, sorry about that. If you want me to keep it in this book, then just let me know. We'll just pick another one out of here. But, um, let me know because I, I do know it would be a longer video and I just, I'm not sure if that's what you want or if you're interested I try to keep it down to if it's a repeat all the way around, we do two sides together, then you guys can work on um, that on your own. So the video maybe shortens up instead of you watching me do it. But there's an idea. Just let me know. Um, I appreciate you uh, stopping in and watching this video. And we are going to be going up. I know it's a lot in one day and I apologize, but we still have pick a stitch to do that the winter of last week. And I want to make sure I get that up today because I don't want to get fall behind any more than I am. And uh, the one that won is the um, this one here. Let me see. Get this off so glare. We're going to be doing this stitch here. And. We're going to, I'm going to be doing that after this one. And then I will post on the community tab next week's choices. And so I'll see you in just a little bit for one more video. And thanks again if you're watching all of these in one day. I so much appreciate it, guys. I, I know it's a lot. And um, if I didn't post this one today, it's because I thought it was overwhelming you. And I might pay, post it tomorrow, which will be Thursday the 25th. Today's 24th. I might save this one for tomorrow so you're not like, oh my gosh, she's all over the place. But we are going to get back in schedule. And Friday will be the hexagon square. I have not chosen it yet, but we will work on that one. And I'll make sure we get back in schedule for next week. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Bye for now.